guys, Todd here again with Hobby Link Japan, and it's time for another review. Now, before we get into actually taking a closer look at this kit, just to remind all of you out there, if you're not already, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. A lot of our viewers are watching these videos, just are not subscribed for some reason or another. Why that would be, I do not know. But in any, any case, all right, so today we're going to be taking a look at a new Haro kit. This is the Haro Pla Haro Loader. So we've had a few of these kind of uh, funnish Haro kits before where they combine the Haro with uh, some other type of classic Gundam type of armor suit. Now the last one we did, the yellow one, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. That one's still sitting at work on my desk. So unfortunately I don't have it here at my house because we are still working at from home here. But I do have my Haro Ball here. So this guy came out. He was the first of these kind of fun combination Haro type things that I can recall anyway and I love the ball gun down. So this guy was really cool. He looks really cute. Now this Haro ball, this guy is actually the older style Haro here so the the mouth doesn't open if you want to uh, see kind of more of those differences between the older style Haro kit and this newer Haro kit which is completed, included with this Haro loader. Definitely be sure to check out that Haro, I have a, there's a review video I believe that we've already uploaded of a, com a comparison between the old Haro and the new Haro kit. So definitely be sure to check that one out. So yeah, so today we've got the Haro Pla Haro Loader and as you can tell he has included with him a lot of extra stuff compared to that ball including this full on kind of mobile suit type of thing that he can sit in with claws and feet and rollers on the bottom except they don't actually roll but at least they look like they do and actually just looking at this kit just as it's sitting here you probably think it wouldn't exactly have a whole lot that you could do with it in terms of articulation but actually it does have a few kind of gimmicks and, and features in, in terms of articulation including one pose that I think was just kind of a bit hilarious just to see how they had it posed on the side of the box and like this is actually something that would be a feature that some someone out there would actually want to display in this position. I don't know, but we'll take a look at that in a second. So, yep, here we have the Haro Pla Haro Loader. And as you can see here, the Haro actually just sits on the inside of this thing here. And it's got a just your kind of standard little connection on the bottom there. And there's the, the plug actually came out with the Haro kit. Eh, oh no. So yeah, this is the newer style Haro where he has the mouth that is able to open up. And you can see the keyboard on the inside there as well as the screen. There's no stickers or anything for that, but... It is there if you want. All right, so yeah, I found that actually the connection to hold this guy on the inside of the suit, it's not actually, it doesn't seem very sturdy. I mean, it plugs into here or it plugs into the unit itself, but I just can't really seem to get it to securely connect both of them. But that's okay, unless you're actually going to be out there and trying to display this guy upside down for some reason or another, you don't really have to worry about that too much. But anyway, all right, so let's take a look at the bottom side of this guy. There are two slots there on the bottom, and I'm not exactly quite sure what those two slots there are for. But these kind of feet roller things on the side here, on the bottom here, they actually do have the ability to tilt down. So I guess when he's standing up, you can tilt them together. And he's going to stand just a tiny bit higher up if you want to position it in that way. And actually, yeah, so the foot here itself does have a... Let me see if I can just pop this out so you can take a closer look at it. It has a little ball joint to it. So you are able to kind of articulate this thing. So yeah, you can kind of angle that out and in just a little bit. So there is that feature as well as being able to twist it all around as much as you want. And actually the waist here does have the ability. There's another ball joint here. So you are able to kind of bend this one up as well. So you got that. And then going moving on over to the arms, his kind of claw arm, claw arm things there. Meh. Yeah, you can kind of twist that one here. So we've got this kind of standard arm type of joint that you see on a lot of HG Gundam kits. So you were able to move it around that way and whatnot. So a little bit, let's see. Yeah, so the shoulder point itself actually also can articulate out a little bit. So that's actually not too bad considering what this kit is. So as you can see here for the arm itself there, it has a little hole in a slot which you are going to be plugging this arm joint into here and with that there then you should be able to slide this arm here so you can slide it forward you can slide it back so you can position this however you would like that now i do kind of have one slight complaint i want to say and this has to deal with the type of plastic they chose to use for this kit so this kit the gray pieces on this kit they are a more of a softer type of plastic which you kind of see with 
on a lot of the HG kits these days, they don't use those poly cap joints anymore. Instead, they use the type of a softer type of gray plastic. And it uses that same type of softer gray plastic. Now, usually for an HG kit, I'm fine with that. I actually like it. I prefer actually to have that plastic than a standard type of poly cap joint because you can actually paint this type of plastic and it's actually in a solid type thing. But the plastic is actually a bit soft. So because of that soft plastic, can bend a bit easier and we can and that kind of affects here you see on the side of this claw here there's a little handle and you're supposed to be able to use this handle and pop off the arm again there you're supposed to be able to use this handle here to open and close that claw but as you can see there if you try just to you try to just to close it by using the end of it you're not good nothing is going to happen so you really have to grip towards the base of it just to get this thing to move just because that plastic is a bit soft so it just wants to bend but actually for this claw here yes it does have the ability to open and close and i have actually found it's just better not to even worry to bother with this uh, little lever thing at all and just use your hands to open up the claws there so yeah that at least for me I, I found that to be quite better so there's another joint here so you're able to position the arm Kind of out or in so that's kind of quite nice as well so this thing actually does is pretty decent i have to say as far as terms of what kind of articulation i really wasn't expecting it to have kind of as much articulation as it actually does now speaking of the articulation now let's take a look at the side of this box here but here i really dig this kind of pose that's kind of just hilarious for me how he's just like the entire pose of this guy is just him bending forward <laughs> Just lying on his front side so that was you know that's a just a, an interesting type of pose to choose for a box art here and then it talks about the haro itself so yeah this haro kit actually does include the full arms and legs so if you don't want to include it with the haro suit then you can just display him on his own now i'm not going to bother to do that for this video if you want to see a haro with the arms and legs be sure to check out the haro review we have up on the channel as well and then it also here it talks about that you're able to combine this with other different parts if you want to make a super haropla loader type of thing here it shows it in conjunction with the balden arm arm so this is an older gundam build fighters build custom type of uh, expansion pack there so yeah if you want to do that then you can buy that as well and include it onto your kit so yeah he's kind of a cool thing if you're a fan of the haro kits and definitely this is one that you will want to check out and add to your collection along with that haro or the haro ball that i showed off earlier in the video so quite an exciting haro 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 loader so we'll have to see what other kind of crazy haro kits that bandai will come out with in the future i hope hopefully they'll keep doing these things and we'll get a number of other different haro haro type of kits all right so gosh i think that's pretty much all that i could really talk about for this kit here so thank you all out there very much for watching please be sure to hit that subscribe button to get uh, to be able to tune in for a number of our other reviews in, in the future all right so yeah i'm losing my breath here i don't know why all right thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later